Okay, welcome to my Corel Draw tutorial. Today we're going to be taking this object and preparing it for laser engraving. So we start off by choosing the file and we notice it's a Corel file that I'm going to ungroup it to its original objects. So we're going to go up to group and ungroup objects and now we have two objects. We have the sandy light font and we have the background image. Um, the background image is still an SVG file so I'm going to ungroup that and that should break it into its uh, two objects, there we go, and I'm going to turn them both to green, so I'll select that, turn it to green, get rid of the outline, select this one, click on the fill, get rid of the outline, and um, we have the green shape and we have the black. What we want to do now is con connect the green shapes together, so I'm going to select them both by holding shift and clicking on the bottom object, and then welding them together. So now we have one solid shape, if I change the color, they change together, and that's what we wanted uh, to do. So the next step we're going to do is click on the font and deal with the font. You can see on the font, if I give it an outline with this scripted font, we have the letters intersecting each other. And for laser engraving, we don't want that because we want the laser to just cut up to here and then head up the E. We don't want it to cut out the I and then cut out the E and then have all these bits and pieces. So the simplest way to do that with a scripted font is to weld the font. Once we weld the font, we can no longer edit the font. So it's important to get all your editing done first before you weld. But essentially, you go up to Object, go to Shaping, and you click Weld. That creates one solid um, laserable cutting file. Okay, the next thing we do, if we change the, all of the colors to black, you can see that we can't really clearly define the word hillbilly from our design. So I want to give the word hillbilly a outline or a contour so that we can still read the words hillbilly even though it's on top of this design. So to do that we're going to click on the contour tool right over here and we're going to choose uh, click up arrow and you can see it's done a brown contour that's 1.1 millimeter um, outside of the green which is a little bit too much so I'm going to click it down to go to 0.6 and that's the effect that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click my pick tool and you can see that I've got one contour group on layer one. If I move Hillbilly out of the way, the background goes with it because it's still connected, it's still a contour. So the next step is to break that contour apart. So underneath Object, we can click Break Contour Apart. The keyboard shortcut is Control-K. And now you can see when I move my green, the background stays. So now that we have it as three pieces, we have the lettering on the foreground, we have the black image on the background, and we have the gray that we don't want to see, we just simply select the background as well as the gray foreground. So I've got the two objects selected and I choose back minus front. So what that's going to do, this one is the back minus front, it's going to take this back object and subtract this front object, leaving just the green lettering and the shape behind it. So when I turn this to black, you can clearly see we have um, a file that we can clearly read. The only step left is to weld them all together and now you can see we have one solid shape. Um, we can give it an outline with no fill, and it's a perfectly fixed file for laser engraving. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and have an awesome day. If you like it, remember to click like. Thanks.